If Jacob DeGrom's health uncertainty, Tywin Walker's Jekyll and Hyde season, Marcus Stroman and Rich Hill's contract status as for agents, and Carl Carrasco's latest surgery has told us anything, is that the Mets have more questions with their rotation currently than they do answers. And with additions to the starting staff being one of the priorities this winter, let's take a look at five Mets starting pitcher targets. At number five, Kevin Gosman. The San Francisco Giants right-hander has been discussed on the channel multiple times already, and the stances haven't changed a bit. Coming off of a career-best season in 2021, the nine-year MLB veteran is seeking a pretty penny of agency, awfully similar to Marcus Stroman. Gosman was a significant factor in the Giants rotation that contributed to their 107-win season and will become the Mets' number two starter right away should he land in Queens. A Mets rotation with both Stroman and Gosman would already be to another level than what 2021 provided, but there's solid reason to believe that Gosman is of stronger likelihood in a scenario where Stroman takes his talents elsewhere. But no less, Gosman, who punched out 227 batters in just under 200 innings pitched this past year, is destined to be a hot commodity in free agency, and we should expect the Mets to have their fair share of interest. At number 4, Alex Wood. Talking about another piece that's set to the open market from San Francisco, Wood is expected to receive a more team-friendly contract than his teammate. Wood is also coming off of his ninth year in the bigs, including a season-best year Ray, innings pitched, and strikeouts since 2018. A crafty southpaw with a sinker, slider, change of arsenal resulted in an impressive chase rate this past year, and with the Mets in complete need of lefties in the pitching staff, a middle to back end of the rotation starter on an affordable price is definitely appealing. Wood, who has just under 40 postseason innings pitched and a career 3.11 year ray in those such games, brings both playoff caliber experience and the southpaw factor into a rotation that can only benefit from it. At number 3, Sean Manaya. Staying on the topic of southpaws, the big lefty from Oakland is set to be inquired by many teams this offseason, with the A's fully intended to part with multiple big names on their roster that are looking for solid paydays in arbitration. And coming off of his sixth year all with the A's, Manaya posted a career season in innings pitched, strikeouts which was just under 200 to be exact, and a respectable 3.91 year ray. Dominating hitters with a sinker that's responsible for over double the amount of Ks versus his second best pitch, Manai is set to go on a tear for a different club as soon as next season. A 2019 no-hitter first put me onto the Sean Manai show that I haven't looked back since personally. A rental who can be locked up long term after being traded for, but slot onto the Mets rotation as their number two or number three starter for multiple years to come. And how Manai's trade market will unfold has yet to be seen, but the Mets do have the necessary assets to make this a reality should they seek it, and they most certainly should. At number two, Zach Greinke. Taking a pivot from arms who are in the primes of their career, 38-year-old, 18-year veteran Greinke is still kicking like no tomorrow. He joins other veteran names that will surely be the stars of this free agent class, including Justin Verlander, Max Scherzer, and Clayton Kershaw, but this also benefits teams like the Mets of pursuing Grinky, knowing that his price point could be impacted to some degree based on the other names in play. And there really isn't much of a selling job that needs to be done here, as he over 3100 innings pitch, 2800 plus strikeouts, 3.41 career year rate, 100 plus postseason innings pitch, and Cy Young Award winner speaks for itself. On a one or two year deal, Grinky brings a reliable championship level starter to the middle of this rotation that could benefit the Mets greatly from all the veteran brains. At number one, Robbie Ray. Getting the elephant out of the room, yes, Ray will cost the Mets a first round draft pick should they sign him, and naturally this comes off less appealing to pursue the big southpaw, but the counter here is clearly the immediate impact Ray brings while his career is at its best. It only took eight years, but the left-hander put on a Cy Young-type season for the Blue Jays, repping career bests in every statistical category. A true ace with a five-pitch arsenal that's led by a 95-mile-per-hour heater and a devastating slider, so there's no denying that Ray is one of the best gets in all the pitching market. And with an assumed contract similar to former Met Zach Wheeler at five years, $180 million, the Mets are all in on prioritizing this rotation, adding a Cy Young-caliber southpaw as your one-two punch with the best pitcher in baseball is the way to go. Now we'll wrap things up for this video, folks. If you guys did in fact enjoy, make sure to let me know all your thoughts down below on what starting pitchers stand out the most to you and either for agency, trade market, or even staying in house for this rotation, whatever it may be, let me know. And if you guys ended up enjoying this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this, make sure to smash that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends, follow the notification bell, all those great things. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Help us get a 10K subs for the next short-term goal. I'm out of here. Let's go Mets, baby.